Hi, welcome to the three Billy Goats Gruff Engineering a Solution to a Better Ending Activity. I am Leslie Esslinger. I am the Director of Education at Becker School Supplies, and I'm also a past board member of the USA Toy Library Association. We are doing a series of these educational videos to help you um, use your time at home with the materials that are readily available and the children, no matter what their age is. So I hope this one works for you. So here we go. Um, I'm just hanging out on the stack of books and uh, hanging out with some goats behind me, and you'll understand in a few minutes why that is. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna ask the children that we're working with to recall the story, if they're even familiar with the story, of the Three Billy Goats Gruff. And uh, you can try to incorporate some math, some science, some literacy in just this few minutes of recalling the story. How many goats, what were the sizes of the goats, were they, who was under the bridge, who was over the bridge, uh, what happened first, what happened next, and uh, the science of it is what do we know about goats? Or what do goats like to eat? Um, we kind of wonder why in this case, the goats chose to go from this brown grass to the green grass. So there's a lot of things that can come up just in that, in that preliminary conversation about the story. And then the next thing is we create the challenge. The challenge here is to build a bridge strong enough to hold the goats and protect them from the troll. So um, I've gathered some materials here. You can see from these pictures, there's lots of different ways to go about this. What do you have in your house? What can you make do with? And um, in this case, I'll show you what I brought to the table. Um, this is my explanation of my stack of books. These are going to be my supports for the bridge. And then, um, of course, we need some goat actors. So uh, since I'm not a very good artist, I just found some online that I was able to cut out and I decided, well, I'll add a little dimension by taping them onto different size cups. So we have the small, the medium, and the large. Oops, and the large. So we have our goats. We have our troll hanging out under the bridge. And the material I'm going to use today is just good old fashioned construction paper. You can see I, I taped two pieces together just to give us a nice long span for this bridge, which is called a beam bridge. And we're going to learn a little bit about the properties of materials. So if we look at this paper now, we're seeing that it's a bit flimsy. It's a good vocabulary word. Uh, it's flexible. Uh, we're not so certain that it's going to be the strongest support we have, but if, with every scientific or STEM-based activity, we're always going to test what we do and what we try. So in this case, I'm gonna send this, this smallest goat over the bridge and see, he's gonna make it. Okay, looks pretty good so far. And then of course he calls his big sister and she's gonna come along. And the next thing you know, our bridge just collapsed. So we can let the children discover on their own what they can do with this material to possibly make it stronger and give these goats a fighting chance. So in this case, uh, I've been practicing with my paper and I folded it accordion style. This is actually a good fine motor activity, just even doing this with the children. And uh, we're gonna test this now. So we have an accordion style span over the same supports. We didn't change that. We still have our troll hanging out here, waiting, waiting anxiously. And we're going to now send our goats across the bridge again. So here's baby goat, head over the tape. Um, medium size, big medium size sister goat. Here we go. And let's see if the big goat is going to make it too. So amazing. Once they get over that tape, uh, they make it safely to the other side. So we learned something. We learned something about the principles of the materials we were using. I'm just gonna go back to my slides very quickly and uh, review what we did. We tested with construction paper, two bridge supports. In this case, I used some craft sticks to do my preliminary testing and saw that it was not that strong. And then I changed the only change, the form of the paper, nothing else was changed, all other variables stayed the same and um, was able to learn that that made the bridge much stronger. So I encourage you to try this with any materials you have at home, build bridges, build more bridges, keep testing them. And based upon 
um, your bridge engineering skills, please let us know if the goats or the troll lived happily ever after. Thanks for joining us. Hope to see you again soon.